Organizations are increasingly turning to the external workforce to get work done. This could be non-payroll workers, also called contingent labor, and service providers. Service providers are usually companies contracted on a project basis via statement of work. Those service providers provide services delivered by people. Hi, my name is Timo from McCoy TV. In many of our procurement projects, we come across the spend category of service procurement. For many companies, a big chunk of their annual spend. In today's episode, I'll discuss how SAP Field Glass can assist your company in providing visibility and control on service procurement. Managing all these suppliers can be challenging. There are several common challenges that organizations face regarding contingent workforce management. First, fragmented management of the contingent labor engagement process. In many organizations, the process is managed by individual hiring managers. This often leads to fragmented engagement, which can result in a higher spend on contingent workers. Secondly, reduced access to qualified candidates. Organizations need qualified candidates. But if an organization heavily relies on one supplier and that supplier is not able to meet the demands. And thirdly, lack of visibility into program spend. When an organization grows, it usually needs more contingent workers. This could become very complex when no suitable partner is able to manage this growth. So what's exactly service procurement? It is basically an invisible workforce that your organization is hiring. It can vary from temporary labor to keep your factory running up to hiring an IT partner such as McCoy and Partners to help you out with an SAP project. Service procurement can be done in various systems like SAP s hana SAP Ariba or SAP Field Glass. Today we'll focus on SAP Field Glass. SAP Field Glass is a vendor management system, also known as VMS, that allows both a buyer and supplier to keep track of the external workforce. A VMS centralizes supplier and worker data to provide visibility into transactions and it will enforce contract compliance, manage costs, mitigate risks, ensure quality hires, create efficient hiring practices and make better buying decisions. SAP Field Glass is capable of automating the entire process from the initial request to hiring an external employee all the way through the invoice and payment. And of course, you can leverage SAP Field Glass to implement procedures that are consistent across the entire organization, including different departments, divisions, or sites across the globe. This will not only help organizational efficiencies, but it also ensures adherence to governmental and internal policies. It is pretty difficult to manage all those external workers individually. SAP Field Glass offers the option to guide users through their onboarding process. Once the job is completed, the organization can evaluate both worker and supplier. Let's say you already have a good procurement process in place as you're making use of SAP Ariba. But you notice that within your company, the procurement process comes in last without any control on what has been discussed with the supplier. You want to have more control and visibility on the suppliers and rates used. With this, you can ensure that when the procurement process kicks in, it follows your company policies and guidelines. Assume you want to hire a company to do some work for you and you want the request from Field Glass to end up in your procurement tool, being SAP Ariba. How does that look like? Well, let me show you by demo. In this demo, we'll create a statement of work. Statement of work will be pushed to SAP Ariba upon final approval. We'll start the statement of work process by clicking Create Statement of Work. So first of all, we need to select a statement of work category. And we need to make some additional selections to continue. Next, we will select uh, the name of our statement of work. We'll call it server installations, for instance. And we also select a start and end date. And it's possible to select a end date manually or have the end date calculated automatically. There are some several fields that are already auto-populated and we leave them as is. We will enter a maximum budget 
of our statement of work. And next we will also have to select a project code. Then we will add some deliverables to our statement of work. Once that we've entered all the deliverables, we click continue. Next, we can review the details that we've just entered and click submit. Now, the status of this statement of work is uh, reflecting pending response and this will basically mean that the supplier needs to respond before we can continue. Now that the supplier has responded to our statement of work, we can see that the statement of work has been approved and it has been pushed to SAP Ariba as purchase requisition. Now when we look into SAP Ariba, we see that the purchase requisition has been created. Within the details we see that the statement of work number has been added to the details section and additionally we can also see that the purchase order number itself has been created. Within the summary of our purchase requisition we also see both items created in the statement of work. Now, if we head back to the statement of work created in SAP field class in the details section we can also see that the purchase number generated by SAP Reba is displayed. Now basically this concludes the demo for the creation of a statement of work and that we have seen that it's been pushed to SAP Ariba as purchase requisition. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for your interest in service procurement via SAP Field Plus. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos to come. Thanks for watching and see you soon.